Life Max. Hello and good day guys. In this video, we are gonna learn how to denoise your voice and also denoise the recordings that you already have inside of FL Studio 20. So let's begin. First of all, let's set up your microphone. We're gonna do that by going in Options, Audio, and right now I've selected FL Studio ACO because my recording software doesn't allow me to use version 2.0 I don't know why but anyway I'm I'm gonna be using FL Studio AC right now and let's go here and click on this and select the input to your microphone in this case I have a blue snowball that's why I would go for the second option that is microphone blue snowball and after that you need to close this Now on to the recording. Make sure your mic is connected and on. And after that, go to the mixer, select a channel. I'll select channel 9. And right here, that lets you select the input from your microphone. So basically, this is the stereo sound which you are going to use to record your voice in stereo mode and this is left channel and this is right channel so you're basically gonna use the stereo sound so click on it the, the insert, insert 9, nine the, the one, one that, that is getting, getting the, the signals, signals from, from your, your microphone, microphone is, is transferring, transferring the signals to this, this master bus, bus or the, the master, master track. track you can, you can see, see this knob here, here. It's, it's giving, giving the, the delay, delay. If you take this down, the delay lowers. So right now I'm gonna turn this all the way down. And after that, you need to record your vocals. Go to the playlist, hit record, and select audio into the playlist as an audio clip. Now you can see that it is recording my voice. And Although it might not be denoising the recording, but you can see what's happening. It's recording my voice and probably you're gonna hear some noise now. Now if you normalize it, you may hear some background noise. Now you can see that it is recording my voice. So what you can do is take this recording and assign it to a mixer channel and after that you need to go to slot 10 and open up the limiter hit play you can see you can see right here at the beginning of our recording it has some noise so what we're gonna do is you can see it says noise gate here and so we're gonna limit the noise that comes slightly increase the threshold a little bit now what the threshold knob does is it determines the intensity of the noise cancellation that you wanna achieve increase it just where you can hear the noise like now if you choose to go all the way up with your threshold right here, of the noise gate then it's gonna cut your vocals too so keep that in mind that you don't overcut the audio let's see what happens if you take the knob all the way up it's recording you don't have to worry a lot because it's a pre-rendered recording but you need to be careful if it's a real-time recording similarly what you can do is you can add a limiter to your recording channel and so that will denoise your voice in real time. So if we add a limiter to your recording channel, use the same settings as before 
it's gonna denoise your recording in real time. So that's a nice factor too. So if I scream now, like, hello guys, hi guys. So it's gonna be denoised automatically in, re in real time. So if I scream now, like, hello guys, hi guys, hi guys. You can use this denoising method to denoise pretty much any recording or even live recordings. That concludes our video. Have a good day. See you in the next one. How you like now?